you know, what we've learned so far with um, COVID is that there's still much we don't know and there are so many questions left unanswered. And one of those really remains is why do some kids get sicker than others? Why do some kids contract COVID and others seemingly have no symptoms? For our children with diabetes and other endocrine comorbidities, we haven't seen yet data that suggests that they're at higher risk for contracting COVID. Um, certainly, however, we do know that um, if they get COVID, meaning if they become symptomatic from COVID, their disease severity differs from other kids. So the initial data that came out about COVID um, really focused on adults in type 2 diabetes and talked about the increased risk of comorbidities and even death in patients that contracted COVID that had diabetes. But as COVID has progressed and we have more and more data um, across the world, we now see that it's not only type two patients that perhaps are at risk for increased complications if they contract COVID. We see actually data that's emerging, real world data, even in our own institution, that children even and adults with type one diabetes are um, at risk as well. And there's still much we have yet to learn. Um, who of the patients that have type 1 diabetes have increased risk and what are those risks. But what the data initially shows us is that um, they tend to have increased severity of disease, um, increased and in longer hospitalizations, and increased comorbidities and maybe even sequelae of disease. Um, those who have an inherent um, risk of obesity, those who have maybe poor glycemic control, worse blood glucose control, um, and those who come from racial or ethnic minority groups. So I think the data is convincing enough to suggest that in fact, um, the disease risk should those patients get COVID may actually be worse. Absolutely, we are encouraging all of our patients with diabetes type one or type two uh, diabetes to get the COVID vaccine. We are stressing that for all of our patients um, because as we follow the data, there's more and more emerging science that shows that those patients suffer worse complications should they get the COVID infection. So at this time, we have two wonderful vaccines available. The Pfizer vaccine for those who are over the age of 16 and Moderna for over the age of 18. And we are actively as an institution contacting patients who are eligible via phone or through their MyChart patient portals and encouraging them to come and get their vaccine. In addition to that, we've supplied our patients numerous educational information, um, not just for our diabetes cohort, but for many of our other patients who have chronic um, risks um, and chronic medical conditions that put them at potential increased risk for severity and disease complications should they acquire um, the COVID infection.